All right. That's better. struggle on anyway. Quickly, open that. Open that side tab. Change that. Mute that. Go! Spaghetti Junction becoming a problem. Too many bloody different controller cords. Now, why aren't you capturing game? Thank you. Hello and welcome back to the Blobber Plays, our Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn playthrough. We have... been told to smack some sense... into Micaiah and Soth. Except this time they're also going to have Dragon Boy helping them. Wherever he is. Here. Just, you know, to make life easier. Did we forget to mention the dragon? So if we put it here, here, and here... So here, 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 here? Maybe one, two, three, four? Should be able to handle three. Also, I hadn't noticed that Birdman was helping us. Thankfully, the people tasked to defeat Birdman. Well, the Thunderbolts are a little scary. And maybe that wind's edge. But otherwise. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, 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 I want you to face the right way. Yeah, no, you just got two new excellent bows. Tanky enough. So you can exist over there. And of these, I guess, Boyd. Level up. Defense, lovely. He's not too far from Boyd Transform Magic. Cannot use Makalov in that way. He's just not tanky enough. Fair enough. We can try again. But you know what? We might rearrange the horsies at the back. Come on. Would be nice to have one more infantry frontliner, but we don't have it, so sucks to be us. That's about as far as we can afford to put Malik Makalov forward. Because he's just not tanky enough yet.
much better. Gatry tanks. from transforming. Three more levels. Good dodging Astrid. Terrible leveling up though. Second, yes, they do. One, one. Unfortunately, looks like they're going to need four to kill that. Three, yeah. Don't know why you'd leave them just barely alive. Seems like a very silly idea. doing all right. the other horse. You're going to go for the bottom one. Okay, let's start with, our, with the obvious move, which is here. Finish this guy. This chaos, I can barely see straight. Yeah, that's all right. Thirteen. Yes. Being at war creates negative vibes that the animal people can pick up on. Times nine or 
Two times th two times thirteen is the winner. Okay, Shinnan transform magic. He gets his armored booties. Fair chunk of health, a good bit of resistance, weirdly a lot of magic, and a bit of defense. Acceptable, especially when its odds of actually hitting you back are so low. Have your conversation. Oh, Makalov, the enemy is ferocious. Be careful. Hey there, you know, I get the feeling Lady Lux on vacation today. God, that's crap, but better than doing zero. Barrier built. They put the kitty to sleep. Yes, they put the kitty to sleep. Beat up Ziark. Maybe a one hit KO. So many soul triggers.
Still no word from the battle? What's going on out there? I should get to my people. They may need me. Hey, just where do you think you're going? Do you think the high and mighty apostles should be traipsing around on the battlefield? Huh? Oh, it's just you. Hmm? How dare you sneak up on me that way? That beauty from the holy guards told me to keep an eye on you. So, do me a favor and sit still, will you? But I can't see anything from here. I have to know how my people are faring. I can't do anything. I have an idea. You, carry me to the place where I can observe the battle. Don't give me that look. You're one of the people agreeing to guard me. It's your duty to obey your orders. Come on, let's get moving. Wait a minute. Is that what passes for Bjork logic these days? No wonder you've lost your throne. Ow, oh, stop that. Are you going to obey me? Or shall I have you chased back home in a cloud of feathers? By the goodness, what have I gotten myself into? As you wish, Empress, my back is yours. Goodbye, kitty cat. Did she get coupled by the Senate? Get duplicated? They started their own instance? And good morning. G'day, g'day, decoy. Two? Yes. That one. Now, are these ones down the bottom going to come and attack my Ziarch, or are they going to run around? No, my... So, like, two days ago, my bike seat died, and I sort of fixed it, but part of that was using some Loctite to... Essentially, glue a bolt shut permanently, and the lock tight still hadn't dried, so I didn't get to go on my bike ride. Brownie face. Yes. Okay, bird guys have finished dealing with. These. More tigers too. Oh, is this the amount of chaosness that's happened? I don't want to kill the Ark. be able to do, other than I think we have to accept that we have to kill it. They're strong, we can't even slow them down, I'm turning back. And he just slides off the screen. Do. My body feels like it's on fire. I can hardly breathe. This is what war feels like. Please don't come near me. I don't want to hurt anyone. Uh, no, I don't want you to get killed. That's livable. 
hurt everyone, you can do it. No, he's a nice dragon. I choose to believe that birds can deal with that. people so we don't send Malakov up to where he can hurt. takes a nap. Goodbye, birdie. Nice miss. Tiger can take it. heals for free every turn. That bird is almost out of health. Or sleeping tiger. next to the other one. What did you say? Did somebody call for me? Who just called my name? Makaya, Makaya, what's wrong? I'm coming, I'll be right there. Good 
by a mage. They can probably kill three of the horses, but not the fourth. Question is can Sigrund finish them? How's that? Ina. in theory. Unless she's already a max tier and I didn't realise. because your javelin wore out. Fair enough. Three times damage, and and put the enemy to sleep. That is not what I wanted at all, but okay. Dead Renault will take over. Death is a permanent sleep. Yeah, we I don't know if Ziark is gone for good. I hope not. I was going to say, Fiona rides a dragon now, but no. There's Fiona and Jill here. And the enemy has the worst unit of all. Meg. Surrender now? <laughs> No 
one has ever beaten this level, Meg is just too strong. <laughs> off the magical attack. Unlike... No, the birdie dodges. Excellent. The kitty cat might kill you. Yep. Should be okay. Mike is within range. He's got good dodge. Gatry laughs at your attack. out of cat manor. Okay, cat dodge. I was going to say otherwise he might die during the retaliate. Looks like they're all running out of mana. Good job, Bird King. Terrible deal. Kill. 
Yeah, it does promote it to an insta kill, so fine. Use the two twenties. Or get it in one because your skill triggers. Kieran is okay. And he gets health and a defense on his level up. Hard to ask for more. It was a little bit more than a tickle, but still not big damage to Gatry. transforms and is promptly slaughtered for his trouble. Takes it. Mm. He just instantly retransforms. Should get one of them down, but I don't think they'll finish killing the other. See?
scenes. Looks good. Heal him or do this first? Do this first. They've got Superior's number. I'm sorry, Makaya. I'm retreating. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that should be fine. Hell, even here, and then... We are spectacularly lucky with our dodges. Yeah. That's on me. Ending turn accidentally. Whoops. He was he was being the dodging king. He was doing a good job. Now, are we actually meant to kill these people? I'm actually going to look this up. So, what is it? From Pain Awakening. Because if we're not meant to kill them, then this becomes a lot more problematic. This chapter is the last chance for the player to obtain the rare Bolting Tome, requiring it to be stolen off of the Central Thunder Sage. But it's not really telling me what I wanted to know. The objective of the map is to route the enemy. A blue zero will appear in the corner of the screen. The number will go up for every dead unit. There are small cinematics until it reaches 80, when depending on if Boyd and Mist have level A support, he or Titania will walk Ike, will call Ike and tell him to take Mist back to the fortress. If Boyd has the level A support, 
he will tell Ike that he will clear a path, as there are 84 Dayan soldiers, all allied units will inevitably die. No, sorry. As there are 84 Dayan soldiers, even before reinforcements, and allied units will inevitably die, the death counter makes the chapter's stated objective impossible. So what's that saying is we can't rout everyone because you're going to hit the chaos, like high level of chaos that triggers stuff to happen before then. Objective. Unfulfillable for narrative reasons. But that isn't telling me whether I'm allowed to kill, like... I want to know if killing Ziark here kills him in the other people's... when we become the other people again. Oh well. You'd think that they'd prioritise telling you that over... Well, the things that it tells you. There's a hidden treasure, a coin, and a rescue. And that's about it. Ah, no, we do have something though. Just like in 3.6 and 3.7, it's possible to recruit Jill and Ziark by talking to them with Ha for Jill, or Laith Mordecai for Ziark. This is recommended as it allows both of them to get some extra experience from fighting during the chapter with no negative consequences. So... I'm supposed to talk to you with either of the cat people, which would probably go with Mordecai. And I need Ha to talk to Jill. But presumably we never are supposed to get up to Torino, Meg, these guys. Presumably? If that's the case, I'm willing to trade Malakov for Mordecai. And I'm willing to trade... Who do we get rid of to make space for... I wish we could get rid of Sigrun, really. But in absence of what we want, we will accept Astrid. But he also kind of died, so it's it's not super clear. Just outside of that range is where we would like to move up. So they're forced to concentrate on Gantry and Ha. Thank you. 
make Void have higher biorhythm. Birdie levels up. And that's turn. level up. And that enemy has no more weapons. please. Three. Kind of wasteful to use that, because now you're going to have to use a big tiger anyway, and the big tiger would have killed where the little cat did not. Sufficiently, someone else can finish you. Weakens you sufficiently that someone else can finish you. And then what is the last birdie going to do? Will it target the last horse or will it. No, it's going to try and get the. Mimidian and fail. Chaos, I can barely see straight. 
and I guess that's why you're forced to have him on the team at the moment, so that there's definitely an animal to do the whole. Ah, there's chaos. Talk, talk about it. Conversation. Mia, we're one big family. We should stick together no matter what. I can't die here. I haven't had my duel at dawn yet. To range of you but not him or have they got the same it's a bit hard to tell no they have the same range in fact yeah I can't do anything that wouldn't trigger that fight back so just go there that's enough the kitty cat to sleep. Not the big tiger this time. Which is a waste because it was going to die already like that. We already saw that before. definitely be in range to talk to him.
Our tiger friends might actually get a bit distracted helping us fight the Mimidians, which I would prefer they go straight upwards, really. One cat got distracted coming over to help me. The rest are doing the right thing. Median. So supposedly you can talk to him. You, I know. Mordecai, I never expected us to meet. Like this, on opposite sides. Z arc. Hmm. No, that not it. Mordecai says your name not right. Not right yet. But. Z hawk? Z harak? Z hark? That is good. Z hark. Mordecai, don't you understand where. I know. Mordecai is your friend. We are allies still. It does not matter who we fight for. Huh? You have no fang or tail, but you are my beast brother. Mordecai forgets again. Sorry. Don't worry. I've got it. I'll go with you. That way you'll get my name right in no time. Good idea. Mordecai likes this. Become Catman. Why not? Use big... Big push. That's terrible. What about... That's also terrible. If anything, I kind of feel like you should come... Come wander down over this way for these guys. is on fire. I can hardly breathe. God, that's bad. Six. Still, it's enough to get him to sun transform magic. He gets his armored booties. helpful for next turns. Good morning, Meg Hater. Morning, Bob. You there. And you fight your fellow Mimidian reasonably well. Enough. And over there. You. And axe 
that. And over to here. You can't quite get up to the person we need you to kill. You can, however... Oh, I was hoping you could shove there. That you support women's wrongs. So she's your hero. Look at her over here. With her 22 ex... She's meant to be a tank. She has 10 defense. Let's come look at my archer that we just had level up. 26 defense. She's... I don't care that she's a girl. I care that she's really, really bad. No, I like... I really like Mia. Mia is great. There are good girls in the game. Plenty of them. Meg is not one of them. Meg is just not one of them. Okay, where's Hargon? Oh, there's Har. Good, he's ready for when Jill comes towards us. You come up. You fix up Mike. Kind of hoping I could resist. No such luck. Mike is put to sleep. Gantry is just absurd. is intimidating for the enemy even when he's asleep. Go Meg's army. No. We're going to develop so much chaos that the uh, the evil god thing breaks free if I remember. Okay, animal people's turn. Smack. Smack. The amount of chaos. It's sort of measuring when the fire emblem is going to awaken and release the, the dark god trapped inside. The titular fire emblem. Right? That one. In the title. It turns out that all these fights that have been being caused to happen to each other is actually making an even bigger bad be released. T-Barn can take care of one all by himself. Two. Now 
helper girl can move over and help finish that. Reinforcements, dragon girl, or bird reinforcements. Back off, otherwise the mage might actually be able to hurt her. Is Jill moving yet? Jill is not moving yet. Instead is step away, grow, get no retaliates, and then move back into position. Big miss. Double big miss. is the best you can do. No, it's not worth. You go there. You're coming this way. You heal Gatry. Have your conversation with him. Let me know how I could help you. My muscles are making the enemy tremble. up is more useful. Five turns away. Here comes Jill. Puts Big Tiger to sleep. by birdie. No, mage misses. Good. You're the wrong kind of mage for attacking tigers. Excellent dodging, team bird. No dodging when you're asleep. Just 
shrugs off the damage. And then it's Animal People's turn. Defenseless cat boys run away down to the bottom corner. One, two. Quite get to chill, not this time. As long as we stay out of Jill's AoE. Jules range. Still waiting for that to wake up. Jill good there. Jill good there. Jill good there. And you're good about there. Just outside their range. He says and then fails to move quite far enough. Go big tiger. Only one return damage is a really good deal. Although he is about to run out of mana.
good. That's what Gatry's job is. Attract fire. Sponge all the enemy attacks. Goodbye, defenseless catboy who was too stupid to retreat. Another one. At least he's getting some turn damage in. One health. Yeah, dead cowboy. And now I expect dead bird boy. Don't kill Nolan. Well, we're going to find out if this is killing Nolan. They've got superior numbers on their side. I'm sorry, Micaiah. I'm retreating for now. Two. One. Two. Experience. Ranulf is also almost out of mana, so Ranulf run back and revert. Mordecai run back and revert, if you hadn't already. Two fourteens, good enough. Ah, go convince Jill to join our side. So, Ha, why are you fighting in the Apostles' army? You stole my question. Why are you fighting in the Dain army? There was a law of war to, li to liberate Dain while you were gone. I joined the army. Well, it looks like you've done a good job. You have. It has been liberated. What are you still doing in the army? I can't just leave. They're my friends. Oh, stop with the sentimental nonsense. In case you haven't noticed, you're fighting your friends as well. What about you? How did you end up in this fight? Well, I got mixed up in quelling the uprising in Crimea. And then I ended up with the Laguz Alliance because, you know, being old friends with Ike and all that. Old friends? That's your reason? Unbelievable. All right, enough about the talking. What do you want to do? You gonna fight me? Of course not. I would never. Then join me. That's easy for you to say. You're full of doubt. How do you live like that all the time? 
Is that how your father wanted you to live? Afraid to trust your instincts? Never give up. Trust your instincts. You've come so far, my Jill. Dane had no business in this war. You know that, right? But what about my comrades? What about my friends? Is dying how you show loyalty? If you're their true friend, then why not show them the error of their ways by fighting alongside me? Oh, Captain, come with me, Jill. We both know what that we should follow our hearts. Even if it makes us traitors, we know that better than anyone. For our sake, for the sake of your father, for your... To live your life without shame. Yes, Captain Ha. Thank you, sir. Two of them. Kieran needs healing. Shameless woman. She does stuff all damage. How far does she move? Nine? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that should be fine. So, ah, but it's not because you can't go through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'd rather you come over here. Or maybe even there. Yeah, the enemy has zero chance to crit. That's fine. Back off. No, we need more like two fifteens. Two eighteens is good. Seventeens. She doesn't seem capable of doing. She can do two sixteens, and the odds of them hitting back are low enough that we risk it. Spicy. What about... Two elevens? Two elevens is good. Well... 
sure it does almost no damage to you. Let's not get too close to the front of you. And see if we can shoot... get at these guys. It's a bit of a hassle. You can at least javelin some. Good. The enemy concentrates on Gatry. Poor defenseless catboy dodges and then gets hit. Sponges more fire. Bird boy sponges more fire. Defenseless cat boy is slain. Defenseless cat boy is slain. Dodge. Defenseless Catboy is slain. Tiger kills on the return swing. Tiger probably dies. Yes. Seven. Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. One more. Eighty. Does it trigger? Mike, I need you to come over here. Something's wrong with Mist. Mist? What's wrong? Ike, my head, it hurts so much. It's the medallion. What do you mean? It's calling to me. Please take me to the medallion. Mist, please wake up. Ike, get her out of here. But leave everything to us. You have to take care of Mist now. See what's going on with the medallion. What's this light? Is it the medallion? She's collapsed too. I get it now. Anyone who has the spirit of order within them is affected by its light. Tiban, Queen Nyla, what are you doing here? Rayson collapsed suddenly. I figured I'd take him to a safe place. Raphael fell unconscious as well. I thought I'd let him rest with Leanne. But then I found that she had collapsed too. And you think the medallion's done this? Missed? The seal on the medallion is about to break. It can't be controlled anymore. My song won't work. We're running out of time. What are you talking about? Call the Apostle. She must sing the Galda of Release. Hurry, before it is too late. Please, Ike, I can hear a voice. It's inside my head, telling me that we must not wake the Dark God through war. 
A voice in your head? Mist, what's going on? Mist, wake up. Ulki, do you hear me? Bring the apostle at once. Are you sure about this? Mist is saying that she should sing the Gelda of release. She's saying that we should wake up the Dark God. The seal will break anyway. If that's the case, we would we should take a chance on your sister and do what she says. I agree with the Hawk King. It's too late to calm the Dark God back to sleep. It would take too long. Do you think we'll be safe if the Apostle wakes up the Dark God? Didn't we fight a major war to prevent that from happening a few years ago? I don't know. Are we safe now? But I always wonder why the Heron Queen Lilia passed down the Galder of Release. She must have left it behind for a good reason. I'm willing to bet my life on it. It's the only choice for our survival. We don't know if it will work until we try. All right, let's do it. So all the Herons are on the ground, so is Mist. I brought the Apostle with me and a little extra baggage. Rayson, Leanne. Now, now, Tibbon. I know you're angry, but we'll work it out once this is over. Not a chance, Naysala. I hope you've said all your prayers and farewells. After I break every bone in your body, I'm going to rip your wings off and feed them to you before you get to die. Hawk King Tibbon, I must ask you to have patience. This man serves under my command. You think I care? This is a Laguz matter. You should see yourself out of it quickly. I'll explain later, put aside your past quarrels for now. Not to repeat the King of Kilvus, but we have more pressing issues. Oh, and Hawk King, don't ever call me child again. Ugh, fine. You get to live for now. Naysala, once this is done though, you're a corpse. So, what would you have me do? I will use all the power at my disposal to help in this. Sing the Galder of Release, the song that was passed down from the Heron Queen to my mother and then from my mother to Mist. But if I sing it before the medallion, it would awaken the Dark God. This is what my sister said. We must not awaken the Dark God with the spirit of chaos. We must use the Gelder of Release instead. The seal will break if we just leave the medallion alone. Please sing the song. Better than releasing the God through war, is that it? Very well, I will try. Cutscene? Not quite. Dog with exceedingly large eye patch. What's going on? Nothing's happening. It's not working, but why? A bird? A melody alone won't work. Wait, this is right in the middle of enemy territory. Soth, why are you here? Commander Ike and the Laguz Kings? I thought you'd all be on the battlefield. This just got really, really bad. Mist and the Herons collapsed because of this thing. I can hear the voice. Finally we get to meet. I have been guided by this voice for so long. I have finally found my purpose. Galdra consists of melody and lyrics. Without both in harmony, the songs have a mere fraction of their power. Maiden of Daim, the only part I was taught was the melody. I don't know the lyrics. The words, they are passed down through the ages like a bloodline. Though time may pass, their meaning is never lost. When I heard you sing the melody, the words came to me. I don't understand what you're going on about. There's no way you could. Soth, shut up and watch. It's not an anime cutscene, it can't be too serious for the story.
When I heard the melody, the lyrics felt as if they poured out from deep within me. I know the song. I've known it since before I was born. I am... I am the Lizard Queen. Good morning to you, my goddess. What has happened? A thousand years have not passed. Why am I awoken early? Indeed, my goddess, you have been asleep for 780. During that time, the world kept its promise to you for a mere two hundred years at best. It was as you said, neither Laguz nor Bjork could resist the urge to fight. They are too weak. Though there are 222 years left until the thousandth, there is no longer any need to wait. Is that so? That's your analysis? Then I will come down and pass my judgment. I will save them from themselves. Uh. <sighs> Mist, how do you feel? Ike, you look so worried. What happened? Where am I? The last I remember, I was on the battlefield. You don't remember? I had a horrible headache and my stomach hurt, then suddenly it all went away. Ugh, Rayson? What is this place? Are you alright, Rayson? Naysala, why are you here? You betrayed us again, you dastard. I had my reasons. I know you'll never forgive me, but I at least want you to hear me out. But that can wait. Tibbet and I will work out our problems first. You go ahead and sleep now, alright? Very well, I'm glad to hear that. Start talking before, before I turn, tear your arms off. Whatever the reasons, you won't forgive me, I know that. I'm asking you to put your feelings aside for now. We're both worried about the herons, right? You spineless bit of trash, you used that line on me before. And look what my forgiveness did to my people. You live now because I chose for you to live. Naysala, once this mess gets sorted, I'll be wearing your beak as a trophy. Get out of my sight. Raphael and Leanne are still out cold. Will they be okay? There's no need to worry. They're just not used to the spirit of chaos being so near. They'll wake up soon. Micaiah, what happened to the Dark God? Is she awake? I'm not Micaiah. She's sleeping now. What? What are you saying? If you're not Micaiah, where is she? I wonder where Ashira is. We must hurry and make our judgment. Wait, what are you doing? No! You must consult with me first. No, 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 don't do this. How are you feeling? It's weird, but I feel great. Hmm. Like a weight's been lifted from our shoulders. But the battlefield hasn't changed a bit. And yet all the negative energy is gone. How could that be? No matter. So long as things on the battlefield go well. You're right. But what if... We can end this now? What if we could? What then? War is a simple thing. What comes after? That is hard. Diplomacy is a battle that I have never known how to fight. I like that line. What is it? You think it will rain? No, not rain. Mist, are you alright? I'm fine, what happened though? What was that light? I don't know, but it's very quiet outside. It's quiet. Too quiet! I hope everyone's okay. So, can you tell what's going on out there? Impossible, I don't hear anything. Either that light took my hearing, or there's nothing out there. What do you mean there were thousands of troops? Let's go take a look. It's time, everyone, let's go outside. Micaiah, wait! <sighs> uh, 
What in? What happened? There's statues. Part 3, Finn. I will know that you have strayed from your path, and I will punish your failure, as I would reward your success. Order and chaos, a goddess divided, judgment, hope, and an ancient covenant. All armies march toward the goddess's tower to learn what has happened to their world. Part four, gods and men. Movie trailer voice guy. As far as I can see and all you can hear, it seems that we are the only ones left. Strange, I guess only the strongest of us didn't wind up as statues. Anyone who was in the building with us was safe too, but everyone else was petrified. Of gods and Meg? Well, there are quite a few more of you flesh creatures left than I imagined. That's good, maybe that means we'll stand a chance against her. Micaiah, are you feeling alright? I'm not Micaiah, how many times do I have to tell you? If you're not, then who are you? I'm Yune. Pleased to meet you. Yune, what did you do to Micaiah? Micaiah is here with me now. She knows that you'll never save the petrified ones without me, so she let me use her body to talk to you. Alright, let's ask you this. If you don't have a body, what the heck are you? I've been asleep inside the medallion for a long, long time. Longer than any of you could imagine. But the, the song woke me up. Lairon's medallion? Are you the Dark God who was sealed inside? Hmm, Dark God. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not one of those. I am neither holy nor base, angel nor demon. I am freedom, chaos, transformation, future, mystery. I am Yune. I don't care what you're called. What is... Was it you who turned everyone to stone? No, that wasn't me. I haven't done much of anything. I only just woke up. I don't have that kind of power yet. That was Ashira's doing. It was her judgment upon this world. Nonsense! Holy Ashira would never harm us. She protects us at all times and guides us towards the right path. You've got that wrong, little meatling. Ashira is neither kind nor loving to the beings of this world. Neither is she holy nor base, angel nor devil. She is restriction, order, stability, past, certainty, restraint, Ashira. I don't understand. Why would the goddess try to destroy us? If anyone's going to kill us all, shouldn't it be you, the dark god sealed in the medallion? You called me a dark god again. How would you like it if I called you a bag of dark organs? I don't want to talk to you anymore. What? Instead, I'll talk to you. Yes, you're the one who I'll talk to. Me? <sighs> Ashira always hated me, but I like her. You've got some of her in you, so I'll talk to you. Okay, you're Yune. That's right, I'm Yune. Ashira is order. I am chaos. We are sisters but opposites. We're linked to one another. When I sleep, she sleeps. When I wake, she wakes. Oh, then you're a goddess. I'm so sorry. Forgive my insolence. I've been talking down to you like a kid. 
No, it's fine. Talk to me however you like. You don't need to stand on ceremony with me. If you insist, you are sealed inside the medallion, but now you're inside Micaiah? That's right. And the goddess Ashira was the one who turned all of these people into stone? Are you here to tell us how to save them? Ah, I get it. You were the one who spoke to me. Wake me with the Galda of Release, not the Spirit of War. Yes, I did. I'm so glad you understood, aren't you so very clever? Of course, I was hoping that by sending you that message, I would stop all of this from happening. What do you mean? We're running out of time, so I'll explain quickly. Long, long ago, your ancestors made a promise to Ashira that they would start no wars among all the nations for at least a thousand years. If the promise was broken, Ashira would destroy the world and try again with a new one. Despite this promise, you bone cages kept fighting each other. Eventually, war and conflict spread throughout the world. When Ashira woke up, she cast down her judgment upon those who failed to keep her promise. I still don't understand. Why would it make a difference whether you were awoken up by the Galda of Release or the Spirit of Chaos? How do you plan to stop Ashira from passing down her judgment? I'm not talking to you. Oh. By all that's, would you stop acting like a child? Please forgive my brother, Yuna. We want to save the people who are turned to stone. We need you to tell us how. It did matter that you were woken with the Galda of Release, right? First of all, you should understand that because of our link, waking me is the same as waking Ashira. Now, if Ashira had been awakened by the Spirit of Chaos, none of us would be standing here right now. By the terms of the promise, she was just supposed to destroy the world. No hesitation or discussion. But if she was awakened by the Galda of Release, she was supposed to consult with me first. She wasn't supposed to pass down her judgement until she heard from me. She went ahead and turned everyone into stone without asking. That's not fair. I'll show her, though. I'll turn them back somehow. The problem is that I can't do this by myself. I need your help. Will you help me? Of course we'll help. It's strange, but I trust you, Yuna. And we all want to save the people who got turned to stone. Yes, we'll do whatever it takes. That's right, we will allow nothing to stand in our way. We will fight. It's also confusing, but we must do everything in our power to save the people. To be honest, I've spent my life teaching that the goddess Ashira watches over and protects us. This is a little hard to accept. Well, you don't have to believe me. You could just let her destroy the world. No, I'll do whatever it takes to save the people who would turn to stone. I'll join the others in helping you. So what you're saying is we have to play nice and work together, and just forget about what's happened? Open your eyes and look around. There aren't many people left to fix this mess. If you don't help, we won't be able to do it. Besides, I would think saving the world is something we could all agree on. You're right, Commander. All of this is the result of our war. I guess there's not much reason for flag-waving on either side. First thing we need to do is unpetrify everyone, and well... I'm actually kind of relieved. At least I don't have to worry about fighting you anymore. I wasn't looking forward to that matchup either. It's settled then. How will we begin? Let's divide the army into three teams. I'm pretty sure that Ashira is going to notice what we're up to. Dividing up is smart. It reduces the risk of everyone getting killed at once. We have to hurry. I can feel her power building. It's all over if we get turned to stone. All right, it's up to us. What's your name? Ike. All right, Ike. I won't. You won't call me a dark god ever again, will you? Not if you don't like it, can I call you Yuna? I'd like that. I guess I forgive you. Oh, I know. As a sign of my forgiveness, I'll make sure that you get to your destination safely. I can't do it for everyone because it's a bit exhausting. But, hold still and close your eyes. Ike level up time? Yes. The storyline decrees that Ike must evolve. Health, magic, skill, resistance, defense, speed. And what do we get rid of? Yeah, we'll get rid of Daunt.
how do you feel? Strong, like I could take on anything. Well, you're very confident for a being that can die. Let's see. I'll go with you. I'm not leaving you at Micaiah's side. You remember spamming that? Great Aether! Great Aether! Fine. Micaiah says that's what she wants too. Let me talk to her. Not right now. You have plenty of time to talk on the road. Hey, you're with this team over here. That's the voice line? Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Can we move people around? Yes. I don't remember this. So this is deciding how we're dividing people. Hmm. The hawk one is bigger. But realistically, it has a lot of people that we don't use much. Right? We never used these two. We never really used the cat. We never really used Meg or the other cat. Let's look. Two frontline people. Two horsies. Three horsies. Three frontline people. This one doesn't have a healer. Right? This one has Micaiah. And Laura. This one has... Reese. And Mist. But this one has no healer. That feels... Wrong. Hmm. Ike, Boyd, Titania, and Jill. Titania and Mia. I'm sorry, Reese, but you make the more sense to move over to here, I think. So now it's one, two, three frontline people, four if you count the Bird King, two horsies, we have got a healer, and we've got Racing. That should be fine. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't like the queen. The queen is bad. And then you have one, two, three, four. Don't like you two. Don't like you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, maybe Fiona, or maybe one of these is strictly better than Fiona. Yeah. Still, I think that's about right. Each team will take a different route, but your destination is the same. The Tower of Guidance that stands in the middle of the land you named Beninion. Go there at once. I hope to see you all there. I'll be waiting. You aren't coming with us? I'll see you at the tower. She just magics away. Yuna, that must be Micaiah. Micaiah? Oh, hello, Soth. You're back. I was so worried. If that bird was Yuna, where did she go? I don't know exactly, but she said she had to go look for something. Leaving us by ourselves, what's she thinking? At least we know what we have to do. Let's get on the move to the tower. May I have a moment before we leave? Prince Kurth has requested that I pass these out to the herons. Sending stones? Correct. Fortunately for us, each heron has been assigned to a different team. King Tiban, would you give this one to Prince Rayson? I wonder what happens if you move all the herons onto a single team then? Do you get a different voice line? Well, text line? That's ideal. We can each communicate with the other teams using the stones. Good idea. Queen Nyla, please give this one to Prince Raphael. I will. And the last one is for Prince Leanne. She's on my team. I'll give it to her. 
All right, see you at the tower. See you at the tower, hopefully. Ike. Since we're on different teams, I need to tell you something before we go. Something important. It's General Zelgius. Next time you see him, Ike, use caution. He's your enemy. What do you mean? He's the one. He's the Black Knight. What? Zelgius is the Black Knight? I became certain of it when we crossed the river. It can't be. I wasn't going to tell you until I had hard proof, but it looks like we're out of time. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. He's the one who killed my father? I doubt that Zelgius has been turned to stone. Be careful, you might run into him. And good luck. Zelgius, the Black Knight. Asherah, the goddess of order, has awakened. Her righteous fury has turned nearly all of the warring soldiers to stone. Yune, the goddess of chaos, has also awakened. Freed from Liran's medallion, she counsels Ike and his companions to split into three groups and make for the Tower of Guidance. Micaiah is joined by her constant companion, Soth. General Skrineer also accompanies her, along with Nasala and Princess Leanne. Apostle Sonaki rounds out the group, traveling with her chief bodyguard, Sigrun, and others. Micaiah's company decides on a southern route and sets out for Benyon. Save for the sounds of the local wildlife, their path is eerily silent and empty. It's as though they have stepped into a vast and desolate monument to the war. It's quiet. Too quiet. Be careful, it's a trap. Prologue, Chaos Named. Sien, the Benion capital. Blessed servant of the goddess, I bring dire news. The Dark God has awakened and made its wrath manifest in stone. All of us were turned to hard rock by its evil power, yet we stand here today made flesh again by the power of the Goddess. Why is that? It is because we are the Chosen Ones. Go forth, Disciples of Order. Deliver her divine judgment upon the Dark God and those who worship it. Alright everyone, let's spend the night in town. Please be sure to get some rest and prepare for tomorrow. <laughs> I don't like the air here. It's too pristine, too clean. I feel like I'm befouling it just by standing here. Bird language, bird language, bird language. Nothing, Leanne. Just talking to myself. Would you like to join us for dinner, Nestling? I've prepared enough for all three of us. Nilucci, I've told you. Don't call me Nestling. I'm not the child you used to take care of. Just look after Leanne. I don't need babysitting. Rawr! Naysala, you traitor. You turned on your own kind. You're right, of course. Go ahead and tear me apart. I deserve it. So you think I won't? I'll make you pay for the suffering of my comrades. Do not bully Naysala! Bully? This worm has brought ruin on the Alliance. Naysala suffers too. Very much. He... Leanne, I wish you would stop looking into my soul. It's very rude of you. Naysala's suffering? He hasn't suffered nearly enough. I can fix that, though. Please do not harm the young master. Take me instead. Get out of the way, old crow, or you'll die just like your master. Wait. Screamer, Nelucci, Leanne, get out of the way. Blast it all. You run? You're a coward and a traitor, Nesala. Sorry, I've changed my mind. Someone else wants my head more than you do. If I let you kill me, he might never find an outlet for all of his anger. Hmm, you have a point. Tibbon has the greater right to your kill. I'll let him punish your treachery. Standing down, I'm surprised. Are you tiring of your role as the hot-headed Lion Prince? Don't push me, Raven King. Is, is he gone? Goodness, from the look in, it, in his eyes, I thought he would eat us all. Bird language, bird language, bird language. 
Okay. Talk to everyone. Excuse me. Oh, it's you. I saw you having an argument with General Screamer. Yes, that happens sometimes. I know you had no choice but to betray the Lagoo's Alliance. If you wish, I can speak to him about it. No, stay out of it. Whatever the circumstances, what I did was unacceptable. The pieces can fall where they may. You'd carry the burden of your crime alone to protect your people? How selfless of you. Of course I'd take the blame. My first priority is my people. As long as they're safe, it doesn't matter one whit what the rest of the world thinks of me. So we find out he's not really the bad guy. He's just pretending to be the bad guy. You intend... You indeed are a king, a good king for your people. I have no doubt of that. I wonder, will history say I was a good empress? You like to pay Marth? The people of Beninion rose up and overthrew the Senate for you. Isn't that proof enough that you're a good empress? It is this franchise, but it is not this game. Marth is a much, much earlier game. That's only because they thought that I was the Apostle, but now you're worried about the release song? Yes. It can only be sung by the direct descendants of Altina, the first settlers of Beninion. Why was the girl able to sing it? Moreover, why couldn't I? You could just ask her. I couldn't work up the courage. It doesn't matter who she is. All I know is that she possesses all the powers I lack. I'm frightened of the truth. And Taurus with the meta characters. What's wrong, Micaiah? Are you still tired? No, I'm fine. The air is nice here. It's calm even. Qu quiet even. I don't remember the last time it was quiet. It's almost relaxing. I have... I hat... Hat. I hate to say it, but I feel like the world is back to the way it ought to be. Finally. I know it sounds horrible, but that's how I honestly feel. Like all debts have been settled and everything has been properly arranged. I think I understand what you're trying to say. Soth, I'm scared. I don't want to get used to it. It's too comfortable, like our mothers come home. A mother who'd smother her children in order to protect them. Hey, what is it? Look at this. The mark of the blood pact, it's faded a lot. Do you think it's because of the air or Yuna's influence of my body? Maybe, could it be something else? I don't know, what with all that's happened, I'd forgotten about the blood pact. But I shouldn't forget, the people of Dane are still in danger. Maybe it'll fade away completely. Wouldn't that be nice? I have a few other wishes that you could grant as well. Hey, Mustin, I'd like to purchase some weapons. Micaiah, good timing. You have something for me? Indeed I do. Look at this. A Thunder Tome. The most powerful of its kind, too. How did you get it? A trade secret. It's the best thing I ever acquired for sale. How much are you asking? Do you want it? Yes. Yuna told me that the goddess Ashira would do everything in her power to stop us. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm certain the battle won't be easy. We have to be prepared for anything. I know. You can have it for free. What? But why? It's not like we have any other customers. Everyone's been turned to stone. I still have hope. We have your goddess and an army we have your goddess and an army of heroes on our side. I believe in you, all of you. You'll put the world right again. I am sure of it. I believe in that too. Thank you, Mustin. With your tome in my hand and your hope in my heart, I'm sure that we will succeed. Good luck, Maiden of Dawn. Is that even any use to her? Like she doesn't she doesn't use thunder magic. Hmm, I'm confused. Is something wrong, General Screamer? Look at this. It's a Satori sign. What about it? I found a patch of ground that was emitting light, and I started digging. This is what I found. Oh. You'd buried it? No, but I saw a vision in a dream. Rays of light fell from the sky, wriggling into the ground and burying themselves. Maybe there are more. I think so, somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, put that in the convoy. Okay. First. There's no point in people having friendships now with people that aren't in this group anymore. Screamer has no friends. Oh, Can you be friends with Tanith? That will do nicely. Can Tanith improve it from her side? That's a no. Nalucci, can you improve things with Leanne? Then do so. Edward, can you improve things with an Oland? That's a no. Ileana and Rayson. But Rayson isn't part of this team. Okay. 
So maybe Ileana. You and Laura can't be more friendly. We already checked this from the other side, right? Yes. Lath. Nope. Nope. Fiona? Okay, so our unattached people and Danvid has no friends. Fiona, Ilyana. Marcia, but Marcia has no friends. And she can't be friends with anyone that's here that doesn't already have... Oh, Laura? No, Laura's Leonardo. So, there's none of that to do. We should attach anything that we would want. We've got a parity. A shade. Making her not get attacked is kind of attractive. Screamer has a lot of space. Hmm. There's also... He's not 30, level 30. None of our animal people are level 30 here. The closest is Mr. Cat, and then Mr. Raven. That's a lot of our experience. Almost a third of our experience, but it will make him able to super level to absorb the Satori sign thing. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, and now... Convoy, take... Tory sign. Levy, concoction, vulnerary, herb, depending on what you need. Use this. He gets raw. Can inflict damage at triple strength and paralyze an enemy for one turn. Okay, and then who else? Obviously you. You. You're already pushed. We just pushed you. One, two. You. Experience points gained in half. I mean, 
do we care about Tiger Man leveling up anymore? Not really. We just pushed him as high as we're probably gonna... It would be a waste of experience in a sense, but... Yeah, why not? Okay, and Shade and Parity. Can we give Laura Shade? And as for Parity... Edward? I don't know that I want to give anyone parody. Okay, do we need any items? We definitely don't need this. She still can't cast the purge anyway. Soft. He needs a new ranged damage. Have this silver knife. Okay. You're fine. He's fine. You kind of need a javelin. So does Tanith. Except she's not good enough at magic either yet. She's only A, not... Not double S. There's no point. That guy's fine. You're also fine, although honestly you could probably have a potion. some animal drugs. Yep, she's fine. And you're fine. I reckon that's about right. Double check that we don't want anything else. In case they try casting sleep and stuff again. But I think that's about it. Soth, 
Wake everyone and have them gather at the square. Enemies are on their way. Well, huh? All right, I'm on it. Lady Micaiah, has the enemy arrived? Not yet, but they're coming, I'm sure of it. I can't smell the troops or weapons. How can you be sure? I don't know who they are or their exact numbers, but the enemy army is massive. Hmm. I know it sounds strange, but I swear it's true. You must believe me. No one doubts your gift, Micaiah. I will not ignore the words of one who has spoken with the voice of a goddess. Oh. Micaiah, it looks like you were right. We have guests. Gold armor. Our enemies have gotten blingy. Leave them to me. The weak among you should hide, for the battle will be fierce. Empress Sanaki, I would leave the fighting to General Screamer. I'll take you somewhere safe. No, I will stay and fight. With all due respect, we can't allow it. What if you're injured? If Micaiah, an untrained girl from the streets of Dane, is fighting, I will stand my ground as well. Empress, you can't win an argument with royalty, but don't worry about her. I'll look after the Apostle. It's a kind offer, but I must decline. It is the first and most sacred duty of the Holy Knights to protect the Apostle. Looks like the enemy is about to take this argument from our hands. They're here. Do you, Bjork, ever stop talking? Take your positions now. We are allowed 15. So who do we want to get rid of? You must have Micaiah, Soth, Sanaki, Sigrun, Screamer, and Nasala. We could get rid of Tanith. Although, seeing as she's friendly with Sigrund, maybe it's worth keeping. Nalucci works with Leanne. Marcia, I'm sorry, Marcia, but it's hard to justify you. Not when no one likes you. Well, only your brother likes you and he's not here. Obviously, Edward. Yes, Ileana. Less Leo. Yes, Nolan. If we've got Leif, we should have Mordecai. We have to have Laura. We can't have no healer. So I guess Nalucci goes for Laura. Fiona's so close to leveling up, though. She's only three. Maybe we use some of that extra bonus experience. And push her three levels. Surely she'll become useful now, right? Lasso Changeo. Does she also get ludicrously large saddle cloths? Yes. They have a big saddle cloth fetish in this game. Health, strength, magic, skill, speed, defense. No, there's not much defense. Resistance, movement. Paladin from a Lance Knight into a Lance Paladin. She has a lot of luck capacity to grow.
Okay, let's look at who's here. Is there anyone that's obviously really... God, you need that extra level as well. Maybe we push Laura the two so that she transforms. 21 hit points just doesn't seem like a sane amount to be running around with. Does she get a big hat? Or does she get a horse? She do does not get a horse and she does not get a big hat. She does get a decent amount of extra defense. And strength? Why would you give her strength? And she's gained the ability to use light magic. So we should go buy her a basic light magic tome. There you go. Sometimes a bishop has to knock out an unbeliever. Or give them electroshock therapy. Twenty-four health isn't that much more than twenty-one, but okay. How do we get Fiona? Who do we give up for Fiona, if anyone? I don't think anyone. I would like to have Fiona, but. I just can't justify putting her in instead of the other people, so no. Now where will we position them? The cats are friends. are together and friends, these two are together and friends, but I don't think they'll be able to take on this yet, so actually... You there. You here. What do we use you? You know what, I think we'll go Soth, Micaiah, Cat, and guard this. Edward Noland. Probably Mordecai just because he's got more bulk. Maybe the the flying sisters. Well, they're not actually sisters, but sisters of purpose. But but that will have to wait for next episode. More, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Join us, then. I need to refill both my cups. So give me a minute to go grab a drink. We will be right back and get on with it.
Beispiel so. Let's get back to it. Hello and welcome back to the Golden Plays, our Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn playthrough. We've just had the big storyline culmination. The goddess was released. She's going to smite everyone out of existence. We have to go smack her so that she won't do that. We've combined all of the three groups together and distributed the people among them however we wanted. And now we're making our way as three separate groups so that if one gets smote, the others still get there. Towards the... Uh, the, the Grand Temple in the center of Beninion, which is where the goddess has woken up. Let's go. Here are the minions of the Dark God, says Yuma. Go forth, disciples, and deliver the holy judgment of the goddess. Destroy them. You, all of you. You're all Beninion citizens. I'm so relieved you are safe. Sanaki, be careful. I don't know that they're going to be pleased to see you. What do you... Minions of the Dark God, we are the Disciples of Order, led by the Blessed Lord Lacan. We have been charged by the Goddess Ashira to cleanse your taint from the world. Death to the tainted souls, let none escape. Empress Sanaki, stay back. The traitors must have sided with the Senate during the coup. Apostle Sanaki is a fraud. Any Apostle who defies the edicts of the Goddess is an enemy to the people. What? No, I... Silence, betrayers of the Empire. How dare you accuse the Empress. Treason is punishable by death. Okay. Now, we were saying that this is going to be him. Or have... Uh, we got to the very end, Decoy, aside from that... Like, we got up to the final boss, but the final boss can be bugged, and our current ending for it is bugged. We submitted a bug report thing, um, the devs were even in the stream, they specifically like, yo, please, please give us this, it's really important that the, the ending works. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna wait for, there was a patch like yesterday, but it, the patch notes didn't say it had anything to do with the patch notes from that suggest that they were dealing with some of the last of the stuff from the pre-release beta stuff. Presumably the next patch will deal with it, and then I'll revisit and see if we can get our story ending. For the plus first playthrough. And then we might play through some more with the other Origins, and make some other decisions about which factions we support. Anyway. No, I, I think I could I could see myself playing more. And they are intending to do more dev work as well, not just, um, like, bug-fixing stuff. But check out their Steam page for that, etc, etc. You here, smack. Steel sword, you smack twice. Ow. Check that none of these have ranged. This has ranged, but we're safe. You have ranged. You have ranged, but everything else looks safe. So we could move the healer up to behind Edward. Not attack, staff, heal, Edward. Okay. Step forward. Javelin him. Step back. Step forward. Mm. Sure, have your conversation. Captain Sigrun, your skills are superb as always. Take this all in stride and keep your guard up. Huh. Hail and good fortune. I hope that you, I haven't embarrassed myself in your eyes. Javelin. Yes. Big miss. 
Step out of the way. We finally get Sanaki. Now she is a fire mage. Big fire magic. The ultimate fire magic. It is very effective against Beast Tribe. Only Sanaki can wield it. She has Ultra Fire and A-level everything else in terms of elemental crap. So... 26 is a kill. Do you have half shift? No, he just has an ability to be shifted as he wishes. Fair enough. So you become here. You can move up and shift and kill. Because you can shift at will. some stats. He still has ridiculous stats. You here throw knife at. Throw that knife at him. should come near Mordecai for your friendship bonus. Do these guys have any ranged attacks? Not that we can see, so we should be fine to bunch up. Bunch up. Get this off. And... That's about it. Can you do the second kind of singing? You cannot. Well then, just do the first kind of singing for the sake of giving you some experience. and Nolan is not tanky enough to take more than two hits. Very bling. They just teleport in more reinforcements. Fifteen is enough for that kill. You step up. Thirty is enough for that kill. Step up. Seven, two sixes, thirteen. But then we'd be using up our good bow. Where was the two sixes? That one. Okay. 
Okay. Um, bird. Kill that. Back to hiding. Wind magic that out of existence. one to that. Hmm. 214s? 214s is enough for that kill. So okay. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're fine. Big miss. You know what? We'll do it slightly differently. Edward can come do this. Potion. You also eat your potion. And then fix Edward. is not quite enough damage, which is disastrous. We have to keep fighting. Call on me if you need me. Oh, hello. Mordecai is glad to see you. Fight hard. Good. Roar. Ow. Ow. Good dodge. Level up, level up. No defense, no health, no skill. Rip. Stab, stab. Oh my god, more horses? And I can't advance further or else we're increasing our surface area too much. 
you go back here, heal Mordecai. as far as you can move up. Come on, 50% chance to hit. You have been so disappointing, Tanith. So disappointing. Okay, third man. Kill. damage would they do to you up close? 20. So she can probably take one hit. Could do that. Level up, level up. Getting close, but still not quite enough. Give her another go. One, two, three, four. Level up and class up. Is she going to become part of the large saddlecloth fetish club? Seraph Knight. Health, huge up. Defense, huge up. Magic, huge up. Resistance, huge up. Skill, strength, speed, moderate ups. No movement, sadly. And she gains stun. Three times normal damage and paralyzes one enemy. High level airborne units. the horse to death. Level up, level up. Only health. Disgusting. Punch. He 
punches another horse to death. Ow. Uh-oh. If even one more of those horses hits Soth... Dodge. And they're leaving us in suspense by not moving that last horse that's up there. There we go. And now we get hit. No! Well, well done, Soth. Absurdly lucky dodging, I suspect. stack of knives for that. Wait, what? The other stack of knives. Oh, come on. I bought the wrong thing. Oh, well. Sucks to be us, then. Use that. Treat back. Step up. Stabby, stabby. You can live in the tree of healing. The little healing bush. I think these guys have got this, and that we should probably move Nesala to replace Soth. Much less skill. No, stay like that. Step up. Stab this guy. One miss. Oh, come on. Enemy gets a critical. Well, that's a reset. Still, we know to put both of the, uh, the Beast Kings on the other side now. They're, they're too too strong. Well, there's too many horses on the top to deal with without both of them. Okay. Again, but better. So it's going to be you two guard this, everyone else does this. That's right.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you serve the evil people, we understand. You move here, you shift. Kill that one. You move here. Shift. Good. Now this way. Move. Spear you. And move out the way. Step up. Ugh. You. Attack. That's kind of disgusting. Door. Sure. Start somewhere. Edward. Well, actually, how far do you move? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So short, sure, move up, stab, and then come back. You move up to the pseudo front. Can we get a better chance to hit than 85? We can get 100. And you know what, 100 is enough, so do it. attacks yet, so we use you. Giga Fireball. And then let's have a look at who does more damage to this guy. 18. Seventeen. Sorry, you suck. Leo? You also suck. In fact, you suck less than she does, so she can go. We need to do 16. You. Beautiful. And the enemy didn't get any damage in on us there. We killed all of them. I am willing to give you another turn. Seven, eight, nine. That isn't quite enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, here. Just javelin. And then back to the healing spot. Oh, 
thank God they didn't all target Edward. Kill. Nice miss. Edward counter crits. Strength, skill, speed. No health or defense, but still okay-ish. They teleport in more enemies, they teleport in more enemies. Okay, how do we want to do this? First... She would like to level up. You go get that kill. Does that transform you again? Not quite. What if we gave you an extra turn? That isn't going to do enough either, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the other hand, if we can kill you with our ranged people, then I would only have to block two squares here. guys an extra turn rather than these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could do that. How much would that do? We could expect that to do nothing. And we could expect that to do 13. But then that would get the kill. So you know what? Fine. Start doing those weird shots. One, two, three, four, five. Classes up, she gets her big, big saddle cloth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. if you moved up to there. No, because then you'd be in their range. So we'd kind of prefer you to be there. 
and you heal Edward. But no, because I want you to physic. So. Makaya can heal Edward. Both of you two. I should have had their conversation. You do nothing. There's no reason to not have their conversation. Retaliate. It didn't actually assist especially, but not bad either. Luck, strength, health. Even more enemies. Okay. Can you kill the bowman? Thank you. I'm happy where you were until we know we've gotten rid of all the nearby bowmen. We can do that. He's almost out of cat mana. your conversation from the other side. Okay, you can blow up that guy. You can heal there. And we're good. Now. No, there's no point, so you just wait. And we're going to bring you over with the assumption that you're going to heal Screamer. Or you can you heal Screamer from... No, we'll assume we want to heal Screamer with heal. Until next turn. You can give Birdo another go. Birdo can go kill one of the horses. And then back up to where he belongs. And that is all for now. Units phase in. Go. Heal. Place. Place. Have your conversation from your side. 
Transform. That's still a lot of damage to you, but they might miss. Okay. You can use your throwing weapon. Step up and use... That's pathetic. You step up and stab. Good. You step up and stab. No. You can bow that now. The last of its health. Then she can stab the other one. Two sixteens is wasting a lot less of her attack. not the best metal to use for weapons. It's soft, yes. But this is a universe with magic, Dawnfreda. The silver is magically better. Right, we just summoned a big bunch of wind to kill a horse. We, we can live with the silver sword being better than the, uh, the steel sword. that she's in range. I don't think she'll be able to take two bows. Can both of them shoot her? Only one can shoot her, but quite frankly, one is too much. So still rescue her. Move up. Happen. Wait, can we just chain it like that? Yes, you can just chain it like that. Okay, I didn't know it worked. That would work like that. Heal him. Let her back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As long as none of the people here have bows. I don't see any. As long as you kill the crossbow man with your first hit, this should be okay. No. It only does 30. On the other hand, he only does 58 back to you. You do survive that. Let's just check this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that should work. No, oh, but his special triggers so he doesn't even get hurt. Nice.
They teleport in even more enemies. Eventually they'll stop teleporting in, right? Surely. 13, 26. Absolutely not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Possibly live there. No, you heal her. Then I think we've got this anyway, because we can block this space off. She can go here, he can go here. And now we guard this. Maybe that is really good against her? give them as many other targets as we can. Other than Sanaki. I kind of feel like actually you being over here could be helpful next turn. And then the same for the other one. I feel like both of these will be useful for finishing off some of these that will come up, smack the cat, get wrecked, and run away. If you can heal Leo, you should heal Leo, even if it's one hit point. Could be the difference between life and death. Screamer. Good job dodging Lathe. Although that used up most of her animal mana. So here, revert, shift again, kill. other than that back off. Well, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That person can get safe. There's no reason for you not to come up here and smack the crap out of that. Archer. 
but you can't move far enough. So you have to back off. That said, you should live near your friend. Have your conversation. And I guess... You back off to there then? Oh, come on. Boo! Well, hopefully he lives. You... Wasting. Well, it depends how much you do. Yeah, 9 plus. His attack is good. Level up, level up. And Edward goes there. Two twelves is not enough. Two eighteens definitely is. One. Two. And then her Imperial Majesty. Uh, no, it does way too much damage on the. Well, twenty three. 23 without any chance of crit is fine. Her special ability triggers. Doesn't quite one hit KO. Can nullify an opponent's resistance and restore HP equal to the damage dealt. Ooh, Leo, shoot with your crappiest bow. Your crappiest bow does literally one damage. Your second crappiest bow. You heal. Life. Okay. This. Or you could move up. What about these two? You move up. Well, you could even move up there. You move up. That all looks fine. And I guess for the sake of training our training our heron. Morning, Cal. A radiant door. Nice dodge. Lion kills horse. Kills horse. Lion kills horse. Well, actually, no. Mostly kills horse. Fire Emblem Bomb? I really like this. This is this is a nostalgia game for me. We're having a bit of a turn-based nostalgia fest lately. Maybe we could probably go there. Yeah, that's out of that one's range. It's not out of that one's range. It's not out of that one's range. But we can fix that by just having you go kill that one, right? 
One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine is not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can get to there. Pokemon Conquest may be back. You could always make that your dictator, Cal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they just get back into safe space. Seven. We'd need to do 11 more. I normally wouldn't choose games you... I normally choose games you wouldn't play unprompted. I, I'm... I'm merely raising... Raising it to your attention as an option. You, you pick whatever you want. And note! Note, channel viewers! There has been inflation. Inflation has struck. The upsurge in dictators last stream has caused significant dictator inflation. Super Bomber Man. I don't know about the SNES one, but maybe. I feel like I've played that on PlayStation One, or like. after school care or something might have had it? Because it looks very familiar. Uh, how much can you do? Not enough. You could give Sanaki another chance. Two percent. Surely she doesn't miss two eighty twos. We'll think about it as a maybe. It's good to be thinking. Twelve. We can move up. We do twelve without the chance to miss. Yes. What got added? Oh, there was a whole bunch. Um, boop. Last stream we had Kaladin with a to be established, Miss Morrigan Nightshade with Pokemon Rangers, Shadows of Alima, and Sunaj, who is having us return after wetting his appetite with his free birthday sample. Sunaj is having us return to StarCraft 64. was a lot better than I thought it would be. I really thought that game would be horrendous to control and to play. 
And aside from just being slow, that's like the only thing that is horrendous about it. It actually plays surprisingly well. The come on ranger is awful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you move eight? She can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. It has to be here. And then you have to javelin that. It's Carpal Tunnel, the DS game. Duh. Move up to outside their range. I'm going to trust him to have enough defense. Move up to outside their range. Move up to outside their range. I know two of my friends who were into... Well, they still are. But at the time, we were all into Pokemons. They really liked the... Uh, well, they played the Mystery Dungeons. I don't know about really liked, but they certainly played them. So... I remember it was the only way of getting, like, a Mew or a Celebi into Diamond, Pearl, Platinum at the time. Wouldn't have been Celebi, because Celebi came with the Colosseum disc. So it must have been, like, Mew. like it's wasting Catman. So we'll move Catman up to here. Twenty-seven. I do worry a little bit that if I move here. They might be able to move up more than I want them to. Yes, that is true. <sighs> okay, so... What are we going to do about this? Tournament? I haven't. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five, six, no. Both of these are awkwardly positioned now. Let's continue working out this. You need to do 23 and 15. That kills you. I'm sold on. Pocken tournament. You. 34 is definitely enough for the kill. Sold. with you. That does not do enough. That doesn't either, but after you've done that, then Ileana's does. Yay! 
Yes. Uh, and Kaladin wants his set to pocket tools. So noted. Okay. Next. One, two, three, four, five. Rescue here. Six, seven, eight. Surely they can't move that far. One, two, three, four. Rescue. Five, six, seven. Happy. You come back here as well. I should have had you do that just for training your... Training up Crane Lady. God, they can hit everywhere. You should always be near him. And honestly, you could start coming this way. How close do I want to get? Only that close. Tiger Prince, well, Lion Prince just shrugs off the arrows. But they might be able to make him run out of animal mana in one turn. Just have enough horse attacks. No, that one's dying. I see no more reason for guarding this. I would rather push out from this side first. So let's start working our way back. your conversation, become an animal, swap, swap, kill, the one with the bow, how far up can these move? As long as you stay out of their range. Otherwise, healing Mr. Lion is fine. Get over here. Lock Soth. Definitely don't move those guys further forwards. Get you over here. The Empress. You start moving back. You start moving back. Who do I want of these to get there the quickest? Probably Nolan.
Okay, let's have a look. How many other bows are there? One, two... Two. As long as he gets this, how much damage would this do back? I can't tell. Regardless, they're obsessed with shooting the, the lion. Okay. They really should probably shoot the raven. Holy... Lucky double miss. You had it on your original Game Boy? Okay. Empress. Fix that. Thank you. Okay. Move up. And then have two. Young Decoy knew some exploit strats. there, but you could get here and then threaten to kill the mage next turn. I kind of wish there was a quick button for select all for this. He has all the health bars. 71 health. He's in fact at maximum health. You can tell by it being green on the right. So no matter how many more times he levels up, he's never gaining more health. they hit, they do zero damage, so why try? At least that makes sense, because if they hit Nolan, they would do damage. Heal him at a distance. From a distance. Brrr. Now. With a 
ships dive bomb you. Uh, I don't actually care about those too much. I do care about these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. So if they move up, they get killed. But we probably can justify that one. Almost a perfect level up. Later games. We were a Casio school. No instruments of the devil of Texas for us. Kind of need to back up a bit, or they're going to start hitting us. But there aren't any bows, so we don't care that much. Untransform, retransform. Next to back up. Uh, let's make sure these ones also don't. Thank you. Thank you. that much. Sing, just so that you level up. Not that it's doing anything. Prince levels up. Defense and wait. My well, health was green. What? I am very confused. Wasn't his health green? Full stats. Hmm. 
Yeah, like her strength. Maybe they're allowed more per level. Untransform. Retransform. Kill the one next to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That does work. She can move nine. One, two, three, four. 16s is much better. Okay, and you can move 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 9. You can't do it this turn. You can do it next turn. gave her an extra turn, she could heal Tana for this turn. Very good. You move out the way, you become the front. You move out the way, front. Back off one for you. Otherwise that looks all good. Imagine if we did this enough to just drain them of all their weapons. Slowly but surely, they would run out of weapons. It would take a great many turns, but it looks like it would be possible. Six, seven, eight. Beautiful. And then Meg trips on a rock and dies, and you would have to break all their weapons again. Ugh. Step up and revert. Shift. Kill. Bushes, because the horses have a hard time moving through the thickets. Oh, 
rest of that is all good. You come over this way. You can give Liliana another go, just for the sake of leveling up our heron. Death to the filthy subhumans, despicable rabid beasts. Yes, feed my rage, make me hate you. He's apparently a Sith. Give me reason to crush your bones in my jaw. <laughs> One hit KO. How could this have happened? How could betrayers of the goddess's word defeat her appointed champions? Gonna need to distance heal him next turn. Are we the baddies? We don't have the uh, skulls on our skulls on our helmets. We're in the okay. Okay. Step one. You step up. Start using the Skulls of Mercy. Come back. Give all of these there vision, please. One, two, three, four, five. That works. Six, seven, eight, nine. He needs distance healing, but first let's transform, retransform, kill. Heal. Oh god, you can't reach there? Can she reach there? She should be able to reach there. Stronger magic equals more range on this. She has five extra, or four, four extra tiles of range. Uh, you. Do the person that can actually hurt Screamer. And then I guess you sit here. Now these could move up. How much would you do? 17. Yeah. And how much would you do? 5. What a joke. Nope. to me like we could run up and stab this and be okay. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Steph. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you just joining, we are playing through Radiant Dawn. Untransform. Retransform. Kill the one that you're next to. As much as you can. Hey, 
Night Step. Uh, I care about the Tempest Blade and that the most. Finish off that guy. One of the community members has become obsessed with Fire Emblem. The stories are a bit cliched, but otherwise it does alright. Kind of annoying they make you untra- yes. But we need to do that to reset his mana bar every turn. If we don't do that, his mana bar will eventually deplete, and then he loses his extra transformed stats. So you can see his strength is up by 10, his skill is up by 8, his speed is up by 7, 8, and his defense is up by 11. It's, it's worth doing that every single turn to keep those stats up. You proceeded to buy a whole heap of the games and then didn't play them. Oops. Uh, you, staff, physic. No, he doesn't need healing for two. Two is, two is unnecessary. Move. Sing. Get your experience. And stand still. be able to move in for the kill next turn. Instead of all this chip, 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 chip damage that we've been doing. So you kill the bowman. Too much damage on the backswing. Not worth. Especially not when they have ranged weapons. The enemy has 0% crit chance, that's fine. Run away. She can handle 39 damage. 0% crit chance. can you move? So you could go there, which means our cats could be here, and here, and you could be here, and then we go sing. That did not work the way I thought it would. I thought it would sing all of them. Well, it sucks to be me. You up there. That guy. Well done, Mordecai. Twenty. And finally... Speed, strength, luck. 
Uh, I'm sorry? Okay, good. Hmm. They were strong for Bjork. Has the Senate held back its elite forces? No, I knew a few of them by face. Some of these soldiers were new recruits. I can't imagine how they could have fought against us so fiercely. Simple, they were protected by a Shearer. I sent a message to Micaiah about the impending attack, then returned here as fast as I could. Ashira freed the petrified soldiers who had pledged loyalty to her. By themselves, they aren't a threat to skin puppets as strong as you. So she blessed their armor and weapons. Now they are worthy to be her true disciples, and their power will be stronger as we get closer to her. The battles will only get more difficult from here. Their weapons and armor are blessed by a goddess themselves. Is that similar to the Black Knight's armor or Ike's sword? It's the same idea. The disciples' blessings are much weaker because there are so many of them. Still, it makes them more powerful than they originally were. I'd like to bless you with protection too, but we haven't I haven't been awake long enough to wield that kind of power. Sorry. Ah, so that was how they were able to stand against us. Poor souls, when they turned back from stone, they probably thought they were chosen or something. No one is good enough for her, though. When she's done using them, they'll be all stone creatures again. Micaiah, there you are. Oh, it's her shadow. I should go. All right. See you later. Good luck, Micaiah. Huh, what? Glad to have you back. We should tell the other teams what happened here. Hmm? I'm going back to sleep. I dislike being awake so early in the morning, even if it is for battle. Screamer enjoys his sleep-ins. Yune was here again. I don't like that she keeps taking over your body. She should stick to being a bird. Please don't say that. She's like an older sister. Your older sister is a dark god? I finally understand now. Remember the voice that used to warn me about impending danger? That was hers. I finally realized it this morning. Even as she slept, she watched over us. Yuna loves Beowulf and Laguz with all her heart. and can f I can feel it when she speaks through me. Then why was she called the dark god? I don't know. But she doesn't like that name. It hurts her when you call her that. Okay, I won't use that name again. You mean it? I forgive you. Hey, is that you, Yune? Sorry, I won't call her that again. Why can't you be that nice with me? To be honest, it makes me jealous. But it's alright, I guess. I know that Micaiah needs you. That's why I can't let you die. Here, come closer to me. What are you doing? Don't be so jumpy. I'm giving you the power to protect Micaiah. So much like Ike got his storyline upgrade. Looks like it's Soth's time. Mm. Moon transform magic into pretty much the same thing with a longer cape. Mega Soth. He has the truant. Uh, ability though. A lot of health, a reasonable amount of defense, a big boost to resistance, a huge boost to magic. I have no idea why. Wow, amazing. I feel incredible. I could wrestle Screamer. Good. Anyway, stay by Micaiah's side. Yune? Nope, me again. Are you disappointed? Never. But I do wish she had at least let me thank her. It would have just been embarrassing. You know, you two are very much alike. You're both so stubborn. I'm just teasing you. Anyway, did you hear what the enemy said before the battle? He's the same class as the blonde that does zero. Yes, they called out Lacane by name, no mistake about it. That means she's he's still alive and probably not petrified. Since they said he was their leader. If the power of his abs is enough to... He dodges more than he tanks. I suppose we'll run around him once we get closer to the tower. That'll be our big chance. Right. We must break the blood pact, no matter what it takes. Of course, our first goal is to save everyone from the goddess's judgement. But we do have to break the pact while they're all stone. If we don't, we may save the world, but lose Dain. We seem to have missed our chance to speak with her. What a remarkable girl. Lady Micaiah can hear the voice of the goddess Yune and learn of impending danger. She's much like you, Empress Sanaki. Let's head back. Are you sure? You said before that it was imperative you speak with her. It's not important. Forget it. Empress? So she's having self-confidence issues now that she's like, I am no longer the goddess's chosen one. Wah! Ike's route leads his group to the west. He is accompanied by his old comrades, Deputy Commander Titania 
and master tactician Sorin. Also with him are Nyla, Queen of Hatari, the Heron Prince Raphael, Prince Kurth Naga of Goldor, and Dragon Boy, Wolf Lady, Nina, Heron Man, having received other a dragon from Pink the Dragon Lady, the disciples of order. Ike and company stay alert and wary as they cross into Celiora. Chapter 1, Road to the Empire Amazing, we've been travelling for miles and there hasn't been a single moving person, and yet the other plants and animals seem unaffected. The only creatures turned to stone were the Lagoos and Bjork, a miracle of the goddess indeed. My sister just sent a warning about some disciples of order. Ashira has freed them from stone to fight for her. She's blessed their armour and weapons. They'll only get stronger the closer we get to the tower. They nearly beat Leanne's team. Worse, they can attack at any moment, and we'll have no idea who or where they are. I'll start working on contingency plans. All right, we'll break here. Everyone, be sure to keep your weapons and supplies well within reach. Okay. Info. Talk. Hmm. What's wrong, Prince Raphael? Are you feeling sick? No, I'm all right, thank you. You're a real puzzle, you know that. Why do you say that? You look a lot like your brother, but you're nothing like him. Rayson looks delicate, but on the inside, he's all iron. You, on the other hand, I don't know. I worry that if I shout too loud or something, that I might kill you. I'm sorry? See, that's exactly what I mean. You should get mad at me for saying something like that. Not say I'm sorry. I apologize? There, you do it again. What I mean is that that's enough, Ike. Raphael is everything the herons are expected to be. Quiet, elegant, elegant, and delicate. Those are words people use to describe herons, and he fits all three. Yeah, well, none of those words fit Rayson. True, maybe Princess Leanne is only so innocent and sweet because she was asleep for 20 years. <laughs> Prince Rayson certainly doesn't seem to have any of those characteristics that herons are known for. King Tiban did mention that real herons are more like Prince Raphael. Prince Rayson spent a long time in the care of the Hawk tribe. No doubt he's picked up all sorts of their quirks. Thank goodness Rayson hasn't picked up Tiban's speech or mannerisms, though. It would be completely ridiculous. Can you imagine a man with Rayson's looks talking and acting like Tiban? I don't think I could help but laugh. Well, he told me he wanted to be just like King Tiban. He admires Tiban a great deal. Rayson said that? Yeah, what about you? Well, sure, it would be nice to be a bit more like Tiban, I suppose. It looks like you guys are brothers after all. Ike, be quiet. You're a bad influence. I won't allow Raphael to be tainted like this. Visions? Ike! What is it, Mist? Take a look at this. How odd. It looks like a master crown. I had the strangest vision. There were these places on the ground which were shining. One was close, so I went to take a look, and here it was. Stop it. You sound like you know when you talk like that. The enemy could attack at any time, so don't go wandering around alone. All right, you're the boss. Holy Crown and Amy. Ooh, it's my hero, Ike. I'll take the spot next to you. Hello, Amy. Would you do me a favor? Take this and give it to Soren. It's an extremely rare item. We don't know what we'll run into out here. He'll be ready for anything with a powerful tome like this. You can't give it to him as yourself? What? Oh, no way. I'm trying to get your attention. I'd rather give it to you. That's very direct of you. Because you can be so thick sometimes. I swear you wouldn't know how I felt if I didn't tell you outright. Even if I did, I won't do anything about it. That's fine, I understand. You still have things you want to do, places you want to explore. That's why you don't want to be tied down by a relationship. I know how you are. Uh, but someday you'll be ready to settle down. Because she's been doing that for two games, Cal. When you are, maybe you'll think of me. That's why I start working on you now. Don't worry about it, for now. But it does worry me. See, you're already under my spell. Well, good night. Sleep well, my hero. That woman has issues with reality. Okay, manage. First. No, no, no. Convoy, give that. What is this? For mist only, but she doesn't have enough levels. Okay, uh, I guess we're manually leveling her up.
And then we say... Do you get a horse now? Does she do what she do in the last game and get a horse? Yes, she gets a horse. But, it isn't one of the horses with a oversized saddle cloth fetish. Health points, strength, magic, skill, speed, defense, resistance, movement. Her sword has gone up to B level, so we could give her a better sword as well. Not allowed uh, physics in this team. How uh, aggravating. We are allowed anti Lagoo's sword. It's very expensive. And we should also use this Seraph robe. Who deserves it out of this team? Mia. Mia is a strong contender. So is... So is Boyd just because he needs the health because he doesn't have defense. Seraph robe gone. Am I blind? Hey, like a turbo. Good day, good day. Ah, you have it. Trade. Mia. Oh, is it implying that I should give it to Raphael? It's probably trying to imply that I should give this to Raphael. Nah, I still want Mia to have it. Tough luck. She's not allowed to? Okay, fair enough. Maybe missed. Oscar would be good as well. Let's do Oscar. Boom. Okay. You have sword, 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 and sword. Healing, healing. You needed a nicer sword. But we probably have spare ones on Ike that we can just trade you. She's not allowed to use that one, fair enough. What about the silver one? That's too good. B e level sword. Will I be playing Frostpunk 2? It's not for months away, I'll worry about it then, Cal. Um no, maybe. See if it's any good. Look into if it's any good first. Boy, yoink. Wanted a B level sword. That will do. And so will that. Yeah, that looks good. Next, you're good. 
You could maybe use a normal potion as well. Look at all those master crowns we have. Do you have your advanced skill, Wolf Queen? Yes. And Volug is nowhere near the correct level to get it for him. Neither is Raphael. So it's pretty pointless, those Satori signs. But the other ones aren't so pointless. We could do... bonus experience do we have? Not that much. He is super cheap to... Oh no, it's because it's only one experience. of whether we intend to use them or not. Okay, and then the rest of the items and skills. She got soul from that. We've got daunt and parody. I don't know that we want either of those. I mean, Daunt would be nice. Oscar? Oscar does not have space. It would be nice on Gatry, but he also doesn't have space. I guess we give it to Boyd? Going back through the items, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, he needs a potion, thank you, you're good, he's okay, you're very good, you're good, you're very good. You could deal with another axe. Sure. He needs a javelin and an axe. Thank you. is fine, and Volag is fine. Save. I think that's about it. Double check I didn't miss the conversations or something. No. Yeah, I think we're good to go. We could check if there's anything special. Unless I really want to buy that.
case she wants to attack worms. Do we also buy some animal drugs? Some for you. Forms. Yeah, so that doesn't matter. And for you, she can transform at will. So she doesn't need that. Well, the mana potion does sort of help her stay in form for longer. I think that's enough. Save, go. Ina, how is Prince Kurthnaga feeling? Not good. He keeps staring into space. He won't say anything and he hasn't touched a bite of his food. I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to ask him some questions, but it can wait. Ike, we're under attack. We're already surrounded. What? That's impossible. How could they get this close without us seeing them? I don't know. There was no sign or scent of their approach. I wonder if they simply materialized. Ina, stay here. Protect Kurthnaga's tent at all cost. Understood. Everyone watch the perimeter. There are a lot of them, but just focus on one at a time. We can have a look at the map. We have to have not four people. I'd like to not have Titania. I definitely prefer Ha to Titania. There's no question about that. I don't like Sorin. I would rather have... We could have Jill or Volug. Let's compare their stats. Surprisingly the same? He's going to have more strength than her once he's transformed, but otherwise be about the same. But she has the advantage of moving further and flying. I think you win, Jill. everyone's relationships are at max. Sure, you can like him, why not? You don't like anyone here yet. You don't like anyone here yet. So we want to replace Oscars. If Oscar can like Gatry, that would make sense. sorry, but you're going to replace Heather. Or not, because apparently you're not able to like her. Really? How can you not be allowed? That's ridiculous. Oh well, if it's not allowed, it's not allowed. You can like Volo. Decide who's going where. We need 
two here, one here, and apparently zero on this side, which seems wrong. Ah, they have health. Their destroyable wall. Okay. And in fact, that there is also destroyable. And that there is destroyable. Gatry, you're going to take that side. should be together. seems about right. That seems about right, but that will have to be it for the episode. We will deal with our teleporting ambush next time. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have had a lovely time. It is blobber bed time. Who, if anyone... <gasps> is up and around that we can get behind what they're doing, and there is an obvious answer. We can get behind Ninjin playing Yoshi's Island Super Mario. Uh, tomorrow, probably more of this, unless something distracts me. Maybe some demos and some dictators if people are around, but probably this. This has got its hooks in me. Have a great day, all.